Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video where I would like to introduce you to the mechanical design path of the SOLIDWORKS certification program and I will also introduce you to uh, my little series of videos which will prepare you to take and pass the CSWA exam. So SOLIDWORKS offers different certifications to give you the opportunity to document your skill level and these certifications are a strong documentation when you for example apply for a job uh, where SOLIDWORKS skills are needed so it is really good for your, your CV to have these kind of certifications um, and the level of certification starts at the associate level so the CSWA which of it tests your the basics of SOLIDWORKS and your knowledge within sketching and 3D modeling and uh, drawings, assemblies, and so on. And well, I have made a little uh, video series here where you're watching now the first video of it. Um, then I'll post a, a practice set video where we'll go through some basic modeling. You can do the examples yourself along with me. Um, in video three, I'll do the practice set two with uh, more focus on assembling so we will draw some different uh, 3d models and assemble them together just to to practice the different mate types and so on um, after that I'll post the, the fourth video with a practice set about the basic model and drawing theory so these multiple choice questions that you'll get during each and every certification exam so they are quite simple in the CSWA exam and I'll go through the different scenarios that you'll meet. Um, and finally, I will post two videos about, well, showing you how to solve the CSWA sample exam officially from the SOLIDWORKS website. You can download it from there. And we'll also use the the test software, the Tangis Tester Pro. Inside there, you can take a free free test exam, free test CSWA exam. So we'll also do that. Um, and after watching this video series, you should be able to pass this CSWA exam. After passing this exam, you'll get the opportunity to take the CSWP, the professional exam, which is pretty much the same things that you'll be tested in. It is just a bit more advanced and you'll have to be more efficient. You'll have to, to draw your models quicker and so on just to, to reach it before the time runs out. Um, so if you pass this, you'll get the opportunity to take these specialized advanced professional exams. Um, and to, to qualify for the CSWE exam, the expert exam, you'll have to pass four out of five of these so and these are more specialized the the professional advanced exams so you'll dive into drawing tools you drive uh, dive into weldments sheet metal surfacing and mold making and i personally have taken these four about drawing tools weldments sheet metal and surfacing so i can help you pass these on my channel as well um, and in january 2020 i also passed the cswe exam and this is well of course the most difficult exam of all these um, you'll be tested in a lot of advanced stuff um, and it is a mix of everything that they've tested you in uh, during the time at the certification program okay so let's dive a bit deeper into into the cswe exam because for each of these certifications you can go into um, into SOLIDWORKS website here and see what what different features uh, uh, will be tested during the different exams. So this is what they'll test in the CSWA exam and I've copy pasted it into this slide um, and tried to label it with different headers. So first and foremost they'll, they will um, test your skills within sketching, so the 2D drawing. Uh, part of the program and I will uh, also show you a lot of a lot about this in in these different videos um, so you should be able to to reach the level required to pass it um, and then there are some uh, some testing within the 3d modeling part so the different um, bars uh, 
uh, extrude and the different cut features and all the different features along with, with the fillers, chamfers, dimensions, all these kind of stuff. And I'll also elaborate on these things in these four videos. Um, the model evaluation is also a really important part of every certification exam in the SOLIDWORKS uh, certification program because when you have done any kind of model, you have to evaluate, get some kind of value um, so that SOLIDWORKS know that you have drawn the right uh, model. So you will be asked to, to, um, to type in the weight of your model and, well, of course, the weight also have something to say about the materials applied to, to the model and so on. And, and I will use that in, in also these four videos. Um, you will also have, have to have some skills within assembly. So inserting components, all the standard mates, and I'll go through these, especially in, in the, the third video regarding assemblies, but also a part of the sample exams that we'll go through. Um, and in the end, you'll have to know something about the different drawing views, um, which I talked about uh, previously, where you'll get these multiple choice questions with some pictures and they'll ask you, what kind of drawing view is this? And we'll go through that in the drawing view video and also a part of the, the different sample exams. So if you wanna, if you want to practice all these things and you really want to strive to to get the CSWE exam, you should just subscribe to the channel and follow this CSWA series. And I will guarantee that in the end of this, you will be able to pass the CSWE exam. So if you want to follow along, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will help you pass the CSWA exam. Thank you.